Donald Trump won, and I am very, very afraid that he might deport my mother-in-law. She entered illegally to the country, and she lives in a street four, number 47, apartment D, New York. I am very, very concerned. That's right behind the green apartment. Yeah. I have nothing bad happened to her. The gate is always open. She don't have any dogs either. Street 4, number 47, apartment D. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so the numbers are in and now we see the breakdown of who voted for Trump and who did not vote for Trump. And personally, I'm kind of disappointed in the black community. They did better than I expected. I thought it was going to be at least 30, 35 percent. But right here, it says that the black men voted Nah, let's say 20%. And the black women, uh, six, seven percent. So we'll average it about 25% voted for Trump. Bully for you. Good. Now, we have the Hispanic men, the Latino men, they voted 45% for Trump. Yeah. The same one I keep saying he's gonna get deport the Hispanics. Or the garbage in Puerto Rico and all that nonsense y'all were talking about. They still came out and made a difference. 45% of Latino men voted for Trump. So we also have more libs crying about it's the end of the world. And my favorite is from The View, Sonny Holston. Further into, into the demographics. Because uh, black women tried to save this country again last night. 92% of black women voted for uh, the vice president. You have Latinas in the 70 percentile voting for the vice president. What we did not have is white women who voted about 52 percent, right, uh, for Donald Trump, uneducated white women, is my understanding. You have Latino men actually voting more for him. And you have um, and black men was not the story. We're not the story here because yeah. they voted almost 80 percent for the vice president. Right. So why do you think that uneducated white women voted against their reproductive health freedoms? And why do you think Latino men uh, voted in favor of someone that's going to deport, says he's going to deport the majority white, of his white community. Women like being called uneducated white women. I think the but economy matters, that's national that's security matters. But, but when you put people in these boxes, I think that's a takeaway from yes. this but we, race. We have yes. So Sonny says that uneducated women voted for Trump. Uneducated black men voted for Trump. Uneducated Hispanic men voted for Trump. So let's go take a look at all the educated people that did vote for Kamala, and let's see their reactions. Do you think you should take the signs down? If you feel like you need to go take them down, I'll go out there and help you. I'm strongly thinking about it. Okay, well, we can take the signs down. Um, I don't know. I'm just not having a really good feeling about this, you guys. And I just want to know what the backup plan is, because surely Joe Biden, somebody surely thought, they should come up with some sort of plan if he did win. So I just want to know what the backup plan is. Because you just went a whole year scaring the hell out of me about Project 2025. And now it's about to happen? And you just think we're all just supposed to fucking go to work now? What's the fucking plan? So it's almost 2 a.m. Pacific time, which means it's... Well, after polls have closed, and I am still just genuinely confused as to what happened. So, if anyone wants to offer some insight, um, I'm happy to fucking take it. I just also think that maybe 
what I've noticed is that men are just genuinely not as concerned as women and don't quite take our concerns as seriously and I don't know that fucking sucks because I met a lot of women tonight who are just genuinely so fucking scared um so yeah let me let me know I guess the crazy thing to me is that if this guy does end up winning again all of the people who voted for him will be like happy and they'll just be celebrating and everyone else everyone who feels threatened by him is fucking scared like we're we're scared for our lives we're scared for our friends like you have pro-life women dying because their their doctors are scared to treat them because of the repercussions of his last presidency how did we get here how did we get here to know that there is that much ignorance and that much hate in this country it's so terrifying it's so terrifying how could you do this how can you claim to be a christian or anyone of moral values and support someone when every word out of his mouth is to hate when he wants to pardon people who took over the capital you do not do this to people that you love and care about if you have a woman in your life if you have an lgbtq person in your life if you have anyone in your life who's not white how did we get here someone tell me please someone really tell me please because the only way I see it is that, like, either he cheated and that was his secret, or this country is built on so much hate, and we might never get out of this. If you voted for him, you are dead to me. Go ahead and block me. I don't give a shit. I really don't. I really don't. <laughs> All right, guys, it's time to go to bed. Yeah. None of us are stressed about the election, right? <laughs> It's all, we all are gonna just go have the best night, the best night's sleep of our lives, aren't we? Mm, very interesting. Those are your educated folks that voted for Kamala. Good representation. Now, Mr. Trump just got elected and already he's making a difference. We see Ukraine and Russia are talking peace. And we also see Hamas and Israel is doing a ceasefire. He done more in two days. He's not even in office yet. He done more in two days than Kamala and Biden did across the seas. And not to mention, the whole phase is over. Yes. We have women on the social media talking about they're not going to give out no more cootie cats to the men until we change our ways. Woke up this morning feeling spicy. You guys feel spicy? Because I do. All right. I don't know how to use this thing. Let's see what happens. Is this cutting off hair? I think I'm gonna have to cut it short in that. Buzz it down, right? I think that this is too, oh, it's getting hair. Let's see here, maybe I gotta cut it. Here we go. Have I given up on America? Yeah. Also given up on coloring this hair, because right? Fuck coloring my hair. Fuck having my hair be long and luxurious. Fuck all that shit. Fuck being skinny, fuck being hot, fuck being all the things that the patriarchy wants us to be. Because clearly, they don't give a shit about us. And I'm talking to you too. Those of you ladies who have the internalized misogyny required to do what you did. Minorities who are so scared of a woman in power that you'd rather cozy up to the white man just in case some crumbs fall off his plate so that you may eat from them. Yes, scraps. I don't know how to work this thing, but I'm on my way. I'm gonna figure it out. Let's just do some cutting. You know why? Because this is taking too long. Here we go. Short hair we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We're cutting it off because fuck you. That's why. You think I'm crazy? Me too. I'm crazy. Just like all the women before me who were crazy. You're so fucking crazy. You know what? It's been a day. It's been a year. It's been nine years, eight years, whatever it may be. Around this time, eight years ago, it was one of the worst times of my life. That's when my life fell apart. Not because of this. Don't get too excited. I'm just talking about regular life stuff, stuff I talk about on here. But trust me, I understand. I have heard the message loud and clear. We all have. Now women are going to have to just refuse to participate. Sorry, if you're a man, I will not be responding to you. If you are a man, I will not be talking to you. I am going to be promoting the 4B movement from here on out. Care? I don't care.
better scissors. My hair, cutting it all off. Probably painting a, a target on my back here, but whatever. At least I live in a state right now that has a of our rights still. And we voted out Brandon Williams. Fuck that guy, back to Texas. From whence he came. We also voted yes on Prop 1 which will codify into law some equal right protections in the New York State Constitution. So we did that at least. I don't know what the other fuckers are doing, but I don't know, man. We are embarrassing on the world stage. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. Seriously? Oh, I've never had short hair before. Ever. It's kind of fun. All right, we're just going to keep chopping away here because this is literally going to take forever if I don't. Cut all the hair off. You know why? I'm not going to dye it anymore. I'm not going to try and grow it out anymore. I'm not going to style it anymore. Fucking done. I will not be giving my money to the beauty industry anymore. I will not be giving my money to anyone that helps support misogyny and the patriarchy and keeping women down and making women think that we need to look a certain way or be a certain way or fuck you. Fuck you. Women, fucking stop dating men. Stop having sex with men. Stop talking to men. Divorce your husbands. Leave your fucking boyfriends. Leave them. They don't give a shit about you. And I promise you, come over to this side. I will bake cookies. I will shave your head if you want me to, depending on how this turns out. Do a little more trimming before we buzz it. Where is my chop it? Cut my hair before. It's like, oh, don't cut your own hair. All right. When people tell me I can't do something, I want to fucking do it. Just entering my middle-aged bum era. About to get the clippers out. All I have to say is good luck getting laid. <laughs> um, especially in Florida, because me and my girlies are participating in the 4B movement. That's my next plan, and I'm dead fucking serious. Donald Trump is president, and I think all women should stop having sex for the next four years in protest and protection of your bodies. As we know, if that little baby inside you gives you any trouble and you need an emergency health care, you're fucked and you're gonna die. I think that is sufficient enough reason to stop having sex. Don't you agree? This vote wasn't a vote for Americans. This vote was for men. And unless we want to become the handmaid's tale, then us women need to protest because this is some buttery bullshit. I'm sorry to the women and minorities who aren't going to get the help that they need in the next four years. I'm sorry for the people who are impoverished who are just going to keep dying from starvation and lack of health care and lack of governmental support. People are actually praising this guy and it's a freaking joke. Look at the states he wants. You won't catch me there. You'll catch me in New York City. And I'm sorry to all the women who are going to suffer in these bumpkin ass, small ass little towns because of this. Reason why I'm a New Yorker and always will be. <laughs> Fuck Florida. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? What are you, what are you, who, what, who are you, who are you telling? We've been asking y'all to stop being hoes for years. We've been asking y'all to stop being hoes for years. And it takes Kamala Harris to lose the presidency for y'all to say, you know what? We're closing our legs until we get some respect. All right, that'll do it. So they're going to keep the cats to themselves. So essentially, the whole phase is over. Thank you, Mr. Trump. I think it's so ironic how liberal women and women who voted for Kamala are saying that for the next four years, they're not going to sleep with another man. I find it so ironic because at least then you won't need an abortion took you donald trump to get in office for you to stop being a whore see things are already starting to change for the better there you go guys the females in america has finally got it they're gonna close their legs they're gonna stop spreading the stds they're gonna stop having babies out of wedlock they're gonna close their legs no more high body counts because of mr trump because they're gonna show us they're gonna show us no more cat for us good keep it keep it all to yourself all right, take your ass back to work. Take care of your kids.